remember I was at the uh, the Curtin Hotel, I think, in, in Carlton. Screen Feeder played upstairs. Um, I went with my best mate and I was talking to Tim afterwards and I said, hey, I said, it's my 40th in a, in a year and a bit. Do you want to play? Fucking oath, we're going to do it. Let's do it. Hey, what are you? And I went, what? And then I started shitting myself again and I'm like, what have I got myself into? And he's like, yeah, I said, what would it take? He goes, oh, we'll work it out. We'll make it happen. And so then I found myself um, planning for my favourite band to be playing in my backyard. And so uh, my brother's a builder. I enlisted him to build a stage over our spa on our back deck. Um, I got a PA from work, you know, that we used to run school assemblies and stuff. And then there's a knock at the door, Tim Stewart from Scream Feeders at my fucking front door. And so we're still running around like mad people trying to set up a house for a party. And then I turn around and Tim Stewart from Scream Feeder is emptying my fucking dishwasher. <laughs> he's, because <laughs> he's two foot taller than everyone else, he's pulling mask and tape off ceilings where, where we're just painted. A car pulls up and it's Kelly and Dean and Derek and, and from Scream Feeder in my fucking driveway. At one stage, Kelly's singing Triple Hook and um, I'm listening to the words and she's like, Sammy, it's your birthday and just made all the words of Triple Hook about it being my birthday and I'm like, oh. It, it, yeah, it, it was it was grouse, and then you know I've got the band sitting around a fire in my backyard, eating my food and drinking my beer, and and just going, this is awesome. But then six months later, it was my wife's fortieth. She hired a, or or booked a, a back room at a pub in Fitzroy, and um, not long before it came out that Scream Feeder was playing the same night, two blocks away. So I said, Lizzie, I'll be back. Yeah.